Hey everyone, Tony here at the Bike Lab, and today we're going to look at Specialized Road Shoes, their Torch lineup. They have the 3.0, the 2.0, and the 1.0. They're fantastic road cycling shoes, but before we get into the particulars of this model, I want to give you a quick explanation of what makes all of Specialized Shoes great. They call it body geometry, and what that means is Specialized has been studying the way the human body connects to a bike for a really long time. They're actually the number one trainer of people who do bicycle fittings across the world. They're very passionate about how you connect with your bike in a way that gets all those pain points and pressure points out of your mind and you can focus on the experience you want to have while you ride. So all their shoes come with three key features that help that a lot. When you look at the human foot, it sits kind of canted like this at an angle. Big toe on this side, pinky toe down here. As you walk, your heel comes down and you kind of balance as you push, and it's important to keep your balance. But a cycling shoe is trying to take that balance uh, platform and turn it into a rigid lever where you can have performance. You don't need to balance off of each pedal stroke. So if you don't have a way that the shoe matches your foot, your foot collapses, the knees kind of follow, and you get this real feeling of instability and these pressure points in the bottom of your feet. So all the specialized shoes on the inside are a little taller by 1.5 millimeters on the outside, or the inside, than on the outside of the foot. Helps to stabilize your foot all the way up through. The footbeds they have in there also have a metatarsal button. It's this rounding right underneath the ball of your feet across your toes. They find that when toes are compressed together in the high repetition of cycling, it creates a numbness that's really irritating. Your feet start to go to sleep. This kind of pushes those toes up a little bit subtly to keep those joints apart from each other so that numbness doesn't happen. Finally, they have a longitudinal arch. What that means is when you're riding a bike, the pressure hits your foot in a different sequence than when you're walking. When you walk, it's heel first and forward to the foot. In cycling, there's nothing back here. The pressure moves this way. So they have the arch support and all of their shoes a little more forward to help support your arch before it gets back to the rest of your leg. Again, evening out pressure and creating stability all the way up through your knees and your hips. The effect is that you get a lot more energy from your body through the shoe into the bike because you're stable, but it also evens out the pressure quite a bit so you don't get those hot spots and points of numbness. So that's something you're gonna have every shoe Specialized makes. It's why their shoes are some of the most popular in the entire world because of that fit and feel. Now, going into the road shoes, road shoes use a three bolt pattern. They have the larger cleat for higher repetition riding. And uh, the 3.0 is the top tier of their Torch lineup. They have their S-Works shoe, which is 425, and we'll have separate videos on the models they have there. But the Torch 3.0 is the top of their Torch line. Now, uh, we're gonna start with things that are obvious. It has two BOAs here. This is a micro-adjust system that allows you to make really small adjustments while you ride to the top part of the engagement up and around the top part of your foot, and then a separate set of engagements down here. Feet come in all shapes and sizes from doing all the fits I've done. I've seen those a lot. You can have a rounding to the front part of the foot. You can have different uh, protrusions and different arrangements to how your foot's built. It's nice to have the ability to customize the pressure across the top of your foot with two different boas here. This is also a synthetic leather upper with a lot of perforations all the way around it. They do a lot of work to try to make sure that this shoe um, is going to breathe really well. I try to use non a stretchy material on the inside of the foot and the material on the outside here that can kind of mold to your foot. But the big feel difference here is that this shoe gets much more focused on the sport of cycling. It doesn't have nearly as much material on the inside for padding, so it doesn't feel as much as an athletic shoe as it feels more like a performance or a sport shoe. So almost kind of like a track shoe feel if you ever did track and field with a little bit of padding here. Um, it creates a, a, a nicer, tighter wrap around the foot um, and again, a much more of a performance kind of feel. The bottom part of the shoe is carbon fiber. They have different uh, stiffness ratings that specialize, a relative set of numbers. Their high-end uh, shoes are a stiffness index of 13. Their entry-level shoes with uh, the plastic soles are six. This is right in the middle at 8.5. So really good stiffness. Stiffness is important because this is the number one place that energy gets transferred from your body to the bike. Before you get to the flexible elements of your frame or crank, the shoe matters most. So this is one of the number one areas of performance gain you can have on a bicycle. By having that sole be stiff, you hold on to more energy and you spread out the pressure across the bottom of the foot. So between $200 and $225, you have your Torch 3.0. It's a fantastic performance shoe for the price. The Torch 2.0 here, this is the 3.0, the 2.0. 
What you get is a carbon fiber sole with a stiffness rating of seven. So it's a little less stiff, but still lightweight and, uh, and stiff to get that performance feel that we talked about. Also has this really nice heel pad here that helps you from kind of slipping as you would walk in the shoe. Has one BOA here that kind of pops some releases and you can dial it down back and forth. Again, it creates that kind of symmetric wrap around the foot. Similar synthetic upper, not quite as many perforations on the inside and outside of the foot, but still a very breathable shoe. Um, but the number one difference with this one is going to be the feel of the shoe. It's much more like an athletic shoe or a running shoe feel versus more of a performance fit and feel. So this will, uh, for those of you who again, wear like nice uh, running shoes, this is going to feel very familiar with the padding and feel you're going to have here um, through the shoe with the Torch 2.0. It's priced right around $160 and is one of the most aggressively priced road shoes in the entire market where you can get carbon fiber for under 200 bucks. So getting carbon fiber, getting that athletic fit, getting that BOA dial system for around $160 uh, makes it one of the most popular shoes on the planet. And then finally we had the Torch 1.0. Very similar to the 2.0 in the upper. Has that athletic fit and feel, synthetic upper. Again, the perforations are a little less on this shoe, so it's not gonna breathe quite as much, but it has that same BOA across the top. And it has that, again, athletic shoe feel. We find that this shoe is fantastic for people who've gotten a Peloton, but want a proper shoe, not the ones they send you, a proper shoe that actually fills and fits and matches you really well as you do your indoor cycling. It has a hardened plastic sole with a stiffness rating of six. So uh, for the stiffness rating, using plastic, it ends up being a little heavier than the carbon. So there's a little more weight to this shoe than the 2.0. It's not quite as stiff, but you still get a good performance connection. So that is your Torch Road shoe lineup, 3.0, 2.0, 1.0, 225, 160, 100. Stiffness index, 8.576, athletic fit and feel, performance sport feel. That's the Torch lineup from Specialized. So as you're looking at shoes and you have any other questions on sizing, how to place your cleats, how to get, get up and going, how to clip in properly, leave them in the comments below. Or if you're on our website, we have the chat button just down there. You can click on that chat and hit us up and we'll answer any question you have about getting set up with your new road shoes. Again, I'm Tony here with the Bike Lab in Oklahoma City, and thanks for spending some time today with us looking at specialized torch road shoes.